Hello and welcome back. My name is Adoway and I'm with uh, Crown Christo. Hello. This is our Clash of the Titans multiplayer where everything's going badly for me. Uh, so the because Titans. Sorry, good. Clash of the Titans, yeah. So I'm pretty they're... sure the Titans are, right, the Comintern and the Chinese United Front. Yeah, I mean, the Axis <laughs> is doing bad at the moment. Well, Mainly the Axis because... is doing okay, it's just that it's the AI. Did you... Why haven't you requested any of the land off Italy? I have, he said no. For one province? It says, ask for control of state, will not accept. Italy thinks that handing you control of occupation would give you an unfair share of occupied territory. Well, fuck off, oh God, please. Italy, you have all of it. Oh god, please, let, let this be true. Oh, Italy doesn't quite have more participation than you, get but the, it's very close. Get the fuck out of my faction, Italy. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, but can you believe this? Like, he's got That's all possible. of France. He's like, nah, nah. Giving you like one province would be too much. I think I agree with him. I think you're, you're greedy. You're just greedy. Well, and the thing is, like, he's only got like Look quite a land lot of participation because he because he died a lot. It's <laughs> the only reason because he's incompetent in eastern Poland. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bet I bet you. You know what? I bet he counts eastern Poland as yours. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, because exactly it's, it's all the same economy. war. Yeah. yeah, which is just stupid. <laughs> I need to. I need to reorganize my troops at some point. Everyone's just sort of sat around in France. Speed three, since we're not, we don't even either have a kind of active front. Yeah, sure. Hmm. I need to finally reorganize. Get... I've got military police there. Finally, going to get my reserves fifth are actually over there. Resistance occupation still. I've got loads of resistance actually. Very hesitant More than I to should. Build, build factories near your border. Oh, oh, this is fun. I have actually 24 military police divisions that I don't need now because France is <laughs> <have> Italy. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> I guess I can guess they can just go and help in Poland, but I've now got 43 in Poland. Oh no, you're getting. Uh... Wait, no, no, no. That's the wrong army. What the hell? I just attached them to. Like my actually regular infantry army. Check Hungary out. We doing this? We doing Hungary? Check out that st steadfast ally there. <laughs> if he's go if he's going communist, I swear to God. He's not, but it's <laughs> just look at him. I swear to God, he's going communist. He's he sending volunteers to Hungary. So not Hungary to, to the British, British Raj. Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry man. So I'm right. I'm doing. I'm doing the focus. I should get him on my side. Yeah, I noticed. That's no. why I checked him out. Fabricating um, Belgium. That's a, bit, that's a bit aggressive of you, really. Belgium needs to die. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the colour just the colour just doesn't go with that with the black and the green. <laughs> it really doesn't, actually. Looking at that, it's got it's got to be disposed of. Ah, oh. Dutchy Cindy's just got called in. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, to my war. Not so who, so who can do you. rubber then? Siam can give me some rubber, and my my, my main man Belgium can, even as I <laughs> even as I fabricate on him. <laughs> you sure you got like another two days? Oh, look at that! That's beautiful. Japan has got one province on the Korean Peninsula. Oh no, no, no! Excuse me, two. I got. I got to say, my, my logic is here. I'm hoping that the lack of rubber hurts you more than it more than me. Well, it depends because whoever gets na their hoping. supremacy, it'll hurt them more. Because they're going to want the one that's putting factories yeah. towards planes. Because, like, basically, once you get naval aerial supremacy over me, I might just stop producing planes. Or, on the other hand, I might not, which will force you to keep producing planes. Actually, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what my current position is. The, on the only plane I'm. Oh, no, I'm losing rubber on all my planes, but I'm producing a lot of transport planes at the moment, so that's what's really causing the deficit. Are you now? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I, need to, I, I need to kill Britain, don't I? You're making my country Somehow. very ugly with all of these front lines on every major city. It's, it's well, yeah, if you, if you want to divert tens of thousands of troops to I wonder how many it is. garrisoning every city, that's uh, like up that. to you. Okay. Just hey, my I'm, I'm sinking the French fleet. Nice. Good job, guys. Good, that will let me naval invade Britain. So, just my garrisons. I'm going to work out how much manpower there is in them. Let's find out. Where, where exactly are you naval invading Britain from, then? No way. Yeah, which you haven't like even come close to conquering yet. <laughs> yeah, but I will very soon. Very oh, soon. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be huge. 
It's gonna be huge. Just my. All right, here we go. Not them. I have an upgrade need of 155,000 infantry equipment. Right, in my garrisons, I have a total of 0.53 million people. It's quite a few. That's a, that's a hefty amount of men you got there. Oh yeah, and then in my military police, I have another 121,000. Okay. I've just done some adjustments to my my factories. I think I probably have enough transport planes now. I've only got, I've only got six. Six is what enough for uh, six, six divisions. divisions. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's it's they're not actual planes. They like they're abstracted. Yeah, yeah. Like sure. one plane is for one division. It's a really weird way of doing it. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I guess yeah. Well, it would make more sense if they had uh, like they could carry a certain amount of weight, and then each unit had a certain amount of weight based on its size. That's dumb. Like so with volunteers, you know, you can send three divisions. And that could be anywhere from like twenty thousand guys to practically half a million if you just max out the division. Not half a million, yeah. but a lot. How would you do Belgium? Belgium is an independent state built for the peace of the region. Oh my God! It's giving land to Italy. <laughs> oh, please get Brussels. Please get Brussels, Italy. You can do it, I believe. Oh no. Because I attack from both sides. Yeah. Well. I bet, I bet when they capitulate, it'd be like, nope, it's the Exorbus land. But you already took Belgium, so. Oh, thank God for that. Go. I, actually, I actually got hold of it. All right, I need some of those military police to come over here. What the? <clears throat> cool, that's that. That's that dealt with. Wall of Cairo. I guess I could kill Switzerland whilst I'm here. Uh, I mean, try. why not? I think it's a bit, it's a bit mean, really. Well, I mean, like, I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even 1940. No, this is true. Um, and let's get these guys to do the other side. I think Sweden's going to have no equipment. Because they're sending, like, all of their equipment to the Allies. They're sending like eight different, le sorry, six different Lend leases out. Doesn't seem very wise, considering that their powerful neighbor is fabricating on them. Yeah. <clears throat> AI smirked, I guess. The AI is very small, right? <laughs> He's trying his best. <laughs> It's hard, it's, a heat. To it's, hard to the, it's hard to be the AI, you know? <laughs> you get picked on. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just it. Alright, these guys near here need to exercise. They are way too low on experience. So how many men do you have in the field? Um, 1.9 million. Oh, I got like 16. 16 million? No. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, like, I, I believed you. <laughs> This is good. Are you? I'm wondering. I'm wondering though. Are your are your divisions t twenty come up with or ten? Twenty two. Well, all of them. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. All of my my proper combat divisions. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because Russia because Russian tradition traditionally had um ten. Did they? Russian divisions are smaller than German ones. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Substantially so. Interesting. But yeah, I think it was mainly that the idea of what was a division to the Russians was. Uh, I want to say a brigade to the Germans, essentially. Oh, it was okay. just a small, like a smaller idea. And the Russians had like, you know, like the nineteenth army because an army was a, yeah, it's just a weird way of doing it. I hey, Japan, have... come in the f action. Oh no! Whatever will I do? Japan are gonna save the day. <clears throat> Believe. I don't. Believe in Japan. Right, I have too many planes being built. This is causing me problems now. So now the Japanese are going to throw lives away, uh, trying to navally invade my ports over here. That's good. <clears throat> and China has fully secured the continent. Excellent. They would totally accept the invitation to faction if they weren't already in one. It's a shame. Oops, I've forgotten to justify against Switzerland. <laughs> good. I think we need some more... I'll tell you what, I'm surprised there's been no naval invasions from the Allies. Anymore. Oh, they haven't tried. The they haven't tried breaching the coast at all. Oh, was that one at the beginning? Yeah, but not since then. <clears throat> oh, well, I'm, I'm glad for you. 
Right, now Hungary should get my faction now. There we are. There we go. Oh yeah, that's annoying. We stand together. <laughs> As equals. Yeah, except I make all the decisions. <laughs> yes. Right, um... Call to arms. Ooh, against two. Just what, the war I'm in now. Oh, you're calling him in, right? Not someone else. It's being called by someone. <clears throat> So I'm pretty sure I can avoid Romania joining you by just never demanding Bessarabia. I think they'll never accept an invitation. I think. We'll just see though. They well, I don't know. I, I... Yeah, I want them. In, I want them in my war. They've gone fascist now, uh -huh. but they haven't joined my faction yet. I think I'm gonna stop training my guys up from above trained. I think I should embrace the Soviet human wave mentality. Um... What should I get next? And also I think Romania get... Maybe I should improve with Romania. Well, how close are they to joining at the moment? I don't know. To a negative 15 reasons. You can get 10 reasons from relations. Hmm... Oh, I need more artillery now. I've got to upgrade it. I think I'm going to centralise. You only just upgraded your artillery. That's good to yeah, know. to say 89 stuff. It's good to know. <laughs> oh, this war's going to go so badly for me. I did it. I thought I did it late. I feel it. I only started the tech in March. Thought I was late. I think you'll be fine. I do. I have a bad. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, that at least is good. <laughs> I mean, you haven't got some master plan, unless uh, pretending feigning weakness is part of your master plan. Feigning weakness. So the question is now: Do I build forts? I was asking myself the same question about a couple of minutes ago now. Yeah. Because, like, my I, I don't know whether to build forts in case. You, I have a reverse later on. I have to I have to dig in somewhere. A reverse. Well, no, if, you're, you're if, I, if you defeat me, push. you're you're anticipating an initial push. Well, I'm I'm anticipating that I'm I I could get forced back in the future, and then I I need to dig in somewhere and defend. Mm. But I don't want to divert resources away from just winning. I'm really looking forward to the Allies navally invading you while you're really heavily focused on our front line. Yeah. Because I'm the kind of person that will, like, I will not activate a battle plan against you that won't happen like i will micro micro at all. every unit that's fairly impressive it's not though it, it, it fails sometimes dramatically i i i think especially in multiplayer i'll just i'll, I'll click all the buttons and i'll try and micro the armored units is what i normally do yeah that's what i used to do i've, I've come around to it a bit since i started doing some multiplayer recently yeah yeah i i when i'm, I'm playing like single player i try to just keep a pause and make all my moves and then unpause it and, and so yeah. on. Hmm. Um, you mean because you, 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 you can really demolish the uh, Soviets oh, yeah. very, Surrounds. very quickly with very, very efficient yeah. efficient uh, number of casualties mm -hmm. by microwing. What was that? What was the, I think the ratio I managed to get once was like 1,150 1, casualties to one against the Soviets. I, was, I, was I, I, I once did it and I took about 80,000 casualties. Yeah. And it took about it took about three months. Yeah, it can be a bit insane. Yeah, because because yeah, yeah, it's incompetent. You know? But especially in Russia, because it's such a long front line, it tends to leave gaps. Not just gaps, but uh, yeah, encirclement potentials run. Yeah, right. and it's so easy to like faint attack in one region and they shift all their divisions along to compensate, and they never leave really gaps. Actually, never really actually tried that. Personally. They do it a lot. I'm, I noticed it. I once. Did a, an Argentina campagain and I had a like ludicrously front long front line from like California all the way through to the East Coast against the Americans yeah and um like I'd do a little push in on one end and they'd move their like their entire front line would go would would move like two tiles over to, to compensate for it and they'd leave a big gap on one side but that was a few patches ago now so they probably hopefully, hopefully patched it yeah. yeah we live in hope we do indeed how many total factories are you up to total 
Total factories, yeah. um, 267. Ooh, so close. 262. And you've got, and I know you've got more civilian ones than I have. If you haven't been building any recently, then yeah. Well, actually, I might not. I've been, know. I've been building exclusively military factories. Hands on the table. How many cars on the table? How many, uh, how many military factories do you have? Sorry, um, sorry, I'm civilian. 117. 117 to my 121. Ooh. Ooh. But you've been the one that's pretty been close. Them. You're the one that's been taking them from people so far, is the thing. How many how many military ones have you got? It's uh, a big number. 133. 134. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Alright, wait. wait. Yeah, we're pretty close. Wait for it. I'll have another one in seven days. I've got I've got one in not an eighth of March. Oh. Oh. I'm, crank, I'm cranking them out as fast as I can. How many full rows are you managing to build at once? I don't know. I'll get this for a variety of stuff. All right, I'm probably done with transport planes now. I still haven't got enough. God damn it. God damn it. Hmm, enough for what? what Just the, the, the number of paratrooper divisions I've, I've built. Oh, I see. I don't know if there are really going to be any use against Britain at the moment. So I, I have not really tried to get equipped to naval invade them currently. Yeah. Well, you don't need to be able to equip to naval invade them without uh, until you have. You know. I, f I feel like if I use my prime troopers now, they'll just die. I, I see it seems fine to me. Yeah, I don't trust it. The red see, tides, I, 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 west. I build them normally. I, I'm not sure what I'll use them for, but it's nice to just have a, a, a contingent of parachutes, parachutes. Mm -hmm. for parachutes. use in situations. <laughs> parachutes, parachutists, yeah. paratroopers. Paratroop. Yeah. I, I have a habit of saying uh, paratrooper division. Oh, yeah. it sounds stupid. Oh no, Switzerland, don't do this to me. <laughs> what? Don't, they just sort of they sort of dug in around Zurich. I can't break that's, through. That's my kind of battle plan. Hey, atomic research is done. That's all right. I think I think I've got Zurich now. There we go. Do you ever go rocket artillery? No. I, I, maybe, I don't. I don't know if it's good. I've just never researched it. I have a, the thing is for me, I have a free slot in my uh, my support companies. I've got support artillery, recon company, engineer, field, and that's it. That's all I ever. Yeah. Put so I feel like if I don't put something there, it's just a wasted slot. Yeah. I I haven't researched enough support companies actually. Oh yeah. Which um, have you got? I don't know. Lots, lots, basically. Right. I only invent those ones and military police, obviously. Oh, I haven't got. What haven't I got in this in this one? Oh, support artillery, which I don't need. I've got line artillery. Dirt. Which you don't need because what? Sorry. Because I've got line artillery. I don't need support artillery. It's overkill, right. I think. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to overkill the Soviets. It's not that many of us. Well, I know. I just I I, I <laughs> normally just get rid of it. I mean, I could put it in. I've got I've I've got the artillery to put it back in. I would always put it in. Really? No. Yeah. It's loads more attack, and it doesn't cost you anything. I mean, it costs you artillery, but it doesn't cost you yeah, artillery yeah. to have it there rather than in, in line. Right. And the more artillery you have in divisions... Ger what's that? German interest in Scandinavia? I don't think oh, so. Oh, yeah, I did advise, but I, I just want Denmark. Denmark? Uh, Denmark's mine. C CBA to attack Norway. Too, it's too much effort. Fair enough. Oh, it doesn't give you a cause of belly on, uh, on Sweden, does it? No. Japan demands French Indochina, and they said yes. And now China's taking into China. <laughs> Good job, France. <laughs> that would have been a brilliant tactical move if that was intentional. By right. France, I mean. I'm trying to sort my troops out now. Now that I have killed everyone but Luxembourg, who I'm keeping alive. Why can't you custom design infantry equipment, like the lower level bits of infantry equipment, rather than just tanks? You totally should be able to. I mean, same reason you can. I mean, you know, guns I'll tell you what, it's probably time tanks. for me to start using field marshals. Oh, good lord. Right. Special troubles against the uh, Scandinavians up here. This isn't good. Let's bring up. Let's bring up the tanks. Owen von Witzelben, I promote you to field marshal. Oh, I only had 21 good, divisions up good here. Good job. Jesus, pray why? Uh, send another 20. I'm going to promote Von Bock as well, Field Marshal. So you, you do use generals, as I recall, yeah? Generally, but <laughs> for, a, for a war with Russia, I'm going to use, I'm going to have to use Field Marshals. You 
you generally use it will just get it will get too confusing if i don't use them uh -huh. was that intentional or was that just oh no i i it's pretty intentional uh i'm gonna put von runstead in charge of those guys i like how even i can't see how many divisions the americans have sent as volunteers to me that seems sensible you, they, they need one more troop in the army. So I am just fighting Swedes and Nords here. Oh no, there are some... What the hell? Sing Kiang. Sing Kiang has got volunteers sent to like every member of the Allies. That's how much they hate you. They're fighting... Gotta me. love Sing Kiang. They're fighting me because they hate you so much that they're sending volunteers to the Allies. That is a genius. True genius AI that play there. Good old Sing Kiang. Ah, they won't stop me though. This is a quite a slow slog through to uh, Stockholm though. It's not. It's Probably got anticipated. too many troops on that front. Uh, those guys are protecting against naval invasion. So yeah, it's rubber situation. Oh, yeah. I don't have any rubber now. It's all gone. <laughs> I'm buying from my old buddy China. You get you get it from China. Uh huh. Uh, well, that's. That's good for you. I don't have. I can't. I don't have that option. No, um. Good. Okay. Let's get. Why not? Because China don't like me. No. You know? I'm oh, training. you're all Sweden. I was lying actually. I've just realised it doesn't matter if you know this. I'm training with Japan. <laughs> what? You're not like you're. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this. This is. This is a joke. I see you're. Uh, I see you're invading. Uh, Sweden, by the way. D. Good. I do. I, I see that you are invading them. I see that you're at war. I'm gonna. Time. I'm gonna befriend befriend China. I think. <laughs> <laughs> anti comment impact. That seems a bit, a bit aggressive. Yeah, I'm fed up with your aggressiveness. <laughs> time to put an end to it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just keep encircling. Just encircling for days over here. I'm circling empty provinces out of habit. It's time to point. get my. Well, I, I, I don't want to move my Greek troops because then, like, Britain will invade with naval troops. Yeah. And I, I don't want that to happen. Right, what other divisions have we got not doing anything? These purple guys aren't doing anything. The Allies they really aren't deploying their troops very well in Scandinavia. They've got, like, most of their guys up in the north while I'm just taking their heartlands. So they're going to surrender and be hopelessly surrounded. <laughs> they've got them all like, if you look at my front line they've got them all at that very top bit yeah where are mounts? Like, oh up uh, here oh yeah. Right. right yeah near uh, Narvik what you what they're encircled no they're just decided that they like it in the cold hmm. <laughs> so, we're, so uh, we're gonna have a border in Scandinavia soon this is uh... oh, it's a oh, coincidence are you going to naval invade me across across the Baltic Sea? <laughs> no, I'm going to walk. Well, I guess you can get. I guess you can. Yeah. This is a whole. This is a whole new dimension to the to the, to the, to, the, to the game. I'm going to have to keep troops in bloody Scandinavia. Uh -huh. And yes, I will naval invade you in the Baltic if you let me. I'd rather you didn't. You get the feeling that you won't know because I have a grand total. Wait for it. I have nine dockyards. I have a slight feeling we might have an advantage in the naval game. I feel like it was a mistake to uh, cancel those infantry divisions earlier that I did. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, so I'm gonna, mistake. so I'm gonna build them now. <laughs> I'm just gonna queue up like 24 divisions. Wow, 24. <laughs> Sorry, what, I just finished a line. Of you 90. got, you got like a billion queued up. I just finished a line of 90 that I queued up. Fun. In the last episode. Well, it's all right because they're going to be built in so time. Is you 24. All right, let me just queue up 27. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do 27. Let's do 25. There we go. <laughs> Not one to be outdone. I, mean. I have a bad feeling about this. No, do more just feel like you're going to have more troops in more places than me. Silly. How did you do 24? All right, so I'll do 48. Right. Uh, we are way over time again. Right. There we go. So this uh, is what happens when uh, we leave the yeah, time, by the way. Right. <laughs> Thank you uh, very much for watching. Yeah. We'll be back again tomorrow for more Clash of the Titans, where we are heading very rapidly now towards the start of the war. Mm. It's going to be five, six months now. <laughs> well, I don't know exactly. 
We'll have but, to see. Yeah, see you then. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. See you, see you tomorrow.